What is going on, everybody? So I just made two videos and then realized there is a brand new feature, a killer feature on the ROG Ally that I've been wanting since day one. And that is the ability to manually, on the go in Command Center, adjust the TDP of your ROG Ally by a case-by-case -case basis, opposed to setting a manual TDP and then saving it as a specific name even though in the command center, it doesn't really show your manual TDP's name and it just calls it manual mode. But now in manual mode in command center, it made saving your manual TDP a thing of the past because now you can actually on the go in command center, switch your TDP and apply it without actually launching the entire armory crate. But instead you can just set your TDP manually to anything you want on the fly in command center. Like with a lot of other features, this crucial ability that the ROG has to adjust TDP and make manual ones, as well as have its set modes, has made using the ROG Ally so much easier. But now, this feature straight up just makes the ROG Ally into a Steam Deck, in my opinion. This is a feature that we needed from day one. And as you can see, I'm adjusting the TDP according to each game and their requirements. Right now, I'm testing out Assassin's Creed Origins, and we're in kind of a light area. So I'm setting the TDP from 13 watts to anything else that I want on the go in command center. And to me, this is the only feature that the ROG Ally was truly missing out on for it to actually become a Steam Deck competitor. Aside from the price, the ROG Ally is an exceptional Steam Deck competitor. In my opinion, better than the Legion Go because it is smaller than the Steam Deck and especially the Legion Go. But overall, Armory Crate has made navigating and using Windows 11 such an easy feat to accomplish. Aside from all of those ridiculously annoying Windows 11 features that we're always bombarded with every time we turn on the ROG Ally, ASUS has made it progressively easier each time they update Armory Crate to use Windows alongside this handheld PC. And the ROG Ally has proven time and time again that it is capable of being one of the best handheld Windows PCs on the market today. And the only reason why mainstream handheld PCs is important to me is because it will get the attention it deserves in order to become the best version of its Itself. And right now, ASUS is proving that by adding this manual TDP feature. And I was just surprised this morning to find out that everything I wanted Command Center to be has finally happened. Command Center is now one of my favorite features in any handheld device with its customizability and now ability to adjust any TDP that you want on the fly. And as you can see in the video, Armory Crate is still updating. So there are even more features that I possibly don't even know about that have been added to Armory Crate. But I feel like this is such a huge feature. And I already made those two other videos, but I'm just going to post this one today because everybody needs to know about this feature. It actually makes the ROG Ally feel more akin to Steam Deck in a way that it's so easily accessible and accurate to switch all these features anytime you want. Now, the next game I'm going to try is kind of a classic fighting game called Under Night in Birth. Now, don't let the title fool you. This is an exceptional fighting game. And as you can see, I'm getting my ass kicked, but I can set the TDP to anything I want in this title. So if I forgot, say, to open up Armory Crate and set my manual TDP to minimum power mode, which is seven watts customized that I made, if you do want to fully customize your ROG Ally, including the fan curve, you can always go to Armory Crate by pressing the lower right menu button and adjust the fan curve accordingly to your TDP for those more in-depth detailed changes that you wanted to make. But if you just wanted to adjust the TDP on the fly and try to save as much battery life as possible without opening Armory Crate and going through the media gallery by mistake or opening up something so it could have an infinite loading screen, you can just simply go to Command Center, switch the TDP to manual mode, and then you can change the TDP to even the lowest, which is 7 watts, which is exactly what I did with Under Night in birth and as you can see it's running at a perfect 60 fps because it is a fighting game so it's a 2d side scroller and it has animation graphics it doesn't really have any 3d graphics per se opposed to the background but as you can see this is a newer title in the series and it still runs at a perfect 60 fps at 7 watt mode manual tdp and i managed to do that on the fly in command center i just can't believe that i'm able to do this on the go now just whenever the heck i want in command center without having to worry about armory crate pulling 
pulling up something I didn't want it to and just loading forever and making it impossible for me to switch my manual TDP from 18 watts to 7 watts if I'm playing a lower demanding title like Under Night in Birth. Sometimes I just want to play those 2D side scrollers or fighting games and those types of games tend not to use as much power as those full-fledged 3D titles like Gears of War or something like that. And I just find it incredible that we are able to now manually on the fly adjust the TDP wattage. It's just everything I wanted it to be. And the RG Ally just continues to impress me and Asus just continues to improve this handheld PC running Windows. Now you can improve any handheld PC, Android, Linux, Ubuntu, Mac OS. All of those OSs are kind of easy to adjust their power usage and just multitasking abilities. But when it comes to something as complicated and stubborn as Windows 11, the fact that Asus was able to do this is so impressive. Now, I'm not saying Valve wouldn't be able to do this, but they are kind of avoiding Windows 11 like it's the actual fucking plague. So just genuinely being able to do something as extraordinary as pulling up Command Center and adjusting TDP manually on the fly any freaking time you want is an accomplishment all on its own. But that is just the numerous amount of updates and one of the newest updates that we have for Armory Crate right now. And I'm just stoked to continue trying out these new features. If they decide to add something else, I'm not sure what the heck it's going to be because right now, RG Ally has every single feature I've ever wanted to have, comparing it to a device like Steam Deck. And to boot, it also has way more compatibility than Steam Deck. That's not an argument. That's not an opinion. That's just a fact. And up until this point, RG Ally to me was damn near a perfect device to use, especially on a plane or a train. But now it is actually a perfect device. I can't think of anything else except maybe a few things that I would like to change about the RG Ally, but those things probably won't be able to be fixed because it's more of a CPU issue. But you'll have to see in future videos exactly what those things are. But yeah, have you guys tried the newest feature in Command Center slash Armory Crate that allows you to manually on the fly change the TDP because it's just incredible and I can't wait to test this feature out a little more in the future and it's going to make my power saver and performance guy videos so much easier that's one of the main reasons why I wanted this feature in the first place to on the fly change the TDP so I can test every type of TDP culmination and combination with any type of game that I want and now I'll be able to push out those power saver and performance guys videos with even more titles in it with those power saver and performance guys videos for the Steam Deck, it was a lot easier to test out numerous games because there were less complications with Steam OS and switching that TDP on the fly. But now you can do it on the ROG Ally, and I'm thankful for that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you have a good one. Later.